Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 13.5.5 Developer Beta 1. Apple released yet another beta for iOS 13 yesterday for developers. By the way, public beta testers, this is also available for you guys to download as well. So iOS 13.5.5 build number is 17G. 5035D. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys some of the minor changes associated with iOS 13.5.5. Now, in this video, I also want to talk about iOS 14 device support. There's been some new reports that come to light that indicate that older devices may get support for iOS 14. We'll go over some of the details, but first, iOS 13.5.5, after 24 hours of digging around, 9 to 5 Mac has indicated that a new audio feature is coming to the Apple News Plus subscribers, right? So audio is sort of like podcast for your uh, news, if you will. So audio news in the new news application for Apple News Plus subscribers. Now, I am a subscriber. I don't see the new tab populate on my news application here for iOS 13.5.5, but 9 to 5 Mac indicates that this will be a new feature coming with the software, and this makes a ton of sense where you can listen to your news. You don't necessarily have to read it yourself. If you're busy, you can just have it sort of like a podcast or an audio book for the news. So yeah, really cool feature coming with iOS 13.5.5, audio for news in the news application. Now, anything else within the software, everything else I should say, is pretty much the same. Nothing has really changed. The animations, the speed feel smooth. Everything looks nice. No additional new features and changes that I've come across after 24 hours of using the software. I just do have to say it feels very, very sturdy, very solid for a beta as it should. Apple just continues to build upon iOS 13. Now, many users were asking why does Apple continue to release new software update for iOS 13 when iOS 14 is right around the corner. So that brings me to the next topic. iOS 14 and beta 1 should be made available if history is any indication June 22nd. That is the first day of WWDC this year. And if history is any indication, it will happen again. We'll see the first beta for the next major update this year. And of course, that will be iOS 14. But keep in mind, iOS 14 will not be made available to the public until maybe late September early October. So that's a few uh, months from now. So that's why Apple continues to release new software updates and it's overall great news, right? So this brings me to device support. And now the verifier has uh, released a report yesterday indicating that early build codes obtained uh, suggest that Apple is definitely bringing support for the iPhone SE first generation, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus with iOS 14. So that would bring every single device running iOS 13 capable of running iOS 14. Now, the verifier has a spotty reputation. They're pretty accurate in most cases, but sometimes they do miss, so I wouldn't get super excited as of yet. Apple does test software on earlier devices to see if it would work. It doesn't necessarily mean that, yes, it is concrete evidence that these devices will get support, although I wish, I really do hope they do get support because that's just great news overall. But right now, the verifier is indicating that some of the early builds do suggest that Apple is either testing or planning to support the iPhone SE first generation, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus with iOS 14 in the coming months. And that would be excellent news for everyone all around. Stay tuned here to the channel, guys. Of course, if I find any additional new features and changes for iOS 13.5.5, the latest beta, I'll be sure to give you guys a follow-up video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.